chances are if you're watching this video, you have ordered something on Amazon before. I've been a big fan of Amazon for a while, it's made my life so convenient. And a few months ago, I learned about this whole other side of Amazon. I stumbled upon these videos about people making just outrageous amounts from Amazon. And I was like, is this real? There's an entire community of people making videos about making hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, through Amazon. And these are normal everyday people. So today I'm gonna break down how they actually do it. We're gonna talk to another YouTuber who has made millions doing this and kind of take a look at the bigger picture of what this all means. But first I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills, which are actually really applicable if you wanna do this whole thing I'm about to show you with Amazon in this video. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. Whether you want a place to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. One that I think is really cool is this new Skillshare course with Brandon Wolfel. His photos are so cool and he has a course that basically shows you how he does it. Skillshare is also really affordable. If you do the annual subscription, it works out to be less than $10 a month. And because they're sponsoring this video, if you use the link in the description, you get your first two months free. So I'll have that down below. You guys should totally go check it out. I am a subscriber to Skillshare. Like I've just been paying for it myself this whole year. And yeah, I think it's a really cool website. And let's get back into this whole Amazon thing. So the way that everyday people are actually making money on Amazon is through a program known as Amazon FBA, which stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. This is a program that Amazon opened up back in 2006. Before this, Amazon mostly sold books and other products that they themselves sourced. Initially, it was a way for small businesses to sell their products on Amazon, and now it's become a lot of people sourcing products from China, marking up the price and selling it on Amazon. And we all buy this stuff even though it's marked up way more than it's initially worth because it's super convenient. This is a product that has made millions. So how do I know this? Well, I kind of went down a rabbit hole of watching YouTube videos about it. And also, I know an Amazon seller who's been really successful and gave me the inside scoop. Well, I mean, there's there's a million ways to make money online, but the, the problem is like most of them just don't work well. Yeah. Or if they do, it's like you're spending an hour to make like a dollar. Yeah. So you guys may remember Kevin David from my follow-up video to how much money a million views gets. And his entire channel basically is about how to make money online. And he's done it a number of different ways actually, but a big one is from being an Amazon seller. Right, Amazon is the biggest um, e-commerce retailer in the world. You know, most of the, your watches and everyone in the USA pretty much uses Amazon. There's over 100 million Prime subscribers. Um, and you know, every of every dollar that's spent online, over 50% of that passes through Amazon. What people don't realize is that Amazon isn't the you know seller of these products for yeah. the most part. Like uh, you know, 70 70% or so of products sold on Amazon are actually sold by people like you and I. Like they're not yeah. sold by Amazon. And so you know, you can create these big brands selling products on Amazon. I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw this stuff, I didn't believe it was real. Like I just seemed too good to be true. But now I've seen exactly how it works from someone that's actually done it, so let's get into the specifics of how people actually do this. And using the same business model that you know Walmart uses, where you wholesale products for a dollar each, but you buy 500, yeah. and you sell them individually for $20 each via Amazon. And Amazon does most of the work for you. They take all of the products to their fulfillment centers, they pack it, they ship it, they accept the money, you don't need a website. So obviously this is not some groundbreaking business model. This is basically what every retailer uses. But what's different about this whole Amazon craze is people never even have to touch the physical product. We all have products in our house. I'm sure that we purchase from someone who's done this exact thing. So how people are actually doing this whole Amazon FBA thing is they're going on a website called Alibaba.com. And Alibaba is the biggest online commerce company in the world. It takes pretty much all of the wholesalers in China and puts them online where you can buy it wholesale. And literally anyone can go on here and buy products wholesale. They have pretty much anything you can imagine. I even found a boat on here, pre-constructed houses, and this weird looking car. It's honestly just fun to even go on here if you have no intention of doing Amazon FBA because they have the craziest stuff at a fraction of the price. Here we have a motorcycle for $400, a two-story duplex container house. Like honestly, that thing looks really cool. Vacation house? 
Someone get my laptop away from me before I buy it. You're telling me this is can be shipped to me, I just, I don't get it. Here's kind of an interesting one. I know people are obsessed with these jade rollers. Well, a dollar and 99 cents on Alibaba. The thing with Alibaba is you have to buy it in bulk. Like you have to buy a hundred or more. You can't just go on there and buy one. But with so many products out there, it made me wonder which products actually sell millions on Amazon and which ones don't really sell anything at all. Um, the first product that we ever ordered, like the first order from Alibaba that I made, I spent around $6,000. Back then I had a nine to five job. I didn't have much money. I was like so scared about investing. It, yeah, because like, then you're like $6,000, that's like- You're like, I could lose this all, yeah. right? And you're sending it to like a Chinese manufacturer. It's very scary. Like yeah. I, I was super scared, but I was like, I have to get out of this job. I'll literally do anything. Yeah. So I actually ordered Kevin's first successful product and you guys will see it's kind of a random one. So this is it. This is the large slate cheese board. And I'm actually kind of pumped that I have this now because I love a good charcuterie board. It totally just looks like something you'd see at Bed Bath & Beyond. So on Alibaba, this item is actually less than $2. Once you factor in shipping and some other expenses, it's gonna be a little more than that. And then they were able to sell that on Amazon close to $50. We made our initial investment back the 6,000 that we invested um, in the first week um, selling our products. And then after that, everything else was, you know, profit but we didn't take the money out. We just kept reinvesting it into more products, more products, more products. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden, like we were making, you know, more from Amazon than we were from my nine to five job really quickly. And so I just quit immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I learned that one reason this item did well is because it's a gift item. So people aren't that likely to return it. Another thing I learned is that Kevin differentiated his products. So instead of it just being the slate, he actually included some utensils too. I actually ordered one of the competitor slate cheese boards and this is all it came with. It didn't come with these little guys here. So this is another product that I sold. Um, this was probably the most explosive product that we ever sold. It's a scratch off mask, but essentially like you buy it as a gift and then like, let's say you've been to uh, like Kenya or something, you would scratch off Kenya on yeah. the map. And it kind of like, you know, it starts out black with um, some like kind of dull colors. And then there's like beautiful kind of uh, colors underneath it. So same thing with this product really, it's definitely a gift item. These were so popular last year, I feel like everyone Everyone had one. Another thing I learned about why this product was really successful and profitable is because it's so lightweight, so it's really, really inexpensive to ship it. So the best year that we ever had for this was 2018, just because Q4 hasn't happened yet for 2019. The best year that, that we'll have will be 2019 for sure. I think the landed cost for a scratch off mask was like $2 and 30 something cents. I mean, we were selling them for like $29.99. So they were making about $27 per unit and in some part of the year selling a thousand units per day, that's around $27,690 per day. You know, I spent so long designing the map with my graphic designer, like in Photoshop, it took literally oh, like- so you like actually designed it. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, we, cool. Cause we differentiated ours. Like yeah. I, I don't recommend that people go and sell the exact same thing. Like we hid like wonders of the world. Like for example, like the Eiffel Tower was like a little like uh, symbol on the map. And we tried to make it like fun. There was like map or uh, uh, flags on the bottom. So clearly people can make a lot of money doing this. And honestly, anyone watching this I'm sure could do it too. I found that this sometimes leads to a lot of poor quality products on Amazon. So this is a clothing rack I bought on Amazon for $18.99. The quality is so terrible. It's supposed to stay up here, like way up, but never once has it actually been able to stay up and work. Like, so I found the same garment rack on Alibaba $3.98. This is a little car vacuum. I bought this for $24.99. This is the exact car vacuum. If you order a ton of them, it could be as low as $5.13. And if you're wondering, the vacuum works pretty well, but they advertise it as high powered and it really doesn't work that well. Another thing to know, just as someone who shops on Amazon, a ton of people are selling the exact same products literally made at the same factory. It's pretty easy to tell when it's made at the same factory. So you might as well just buy the cheapest one. Another Another downside to this is it's really not the greatest for the environment, which I don't want to ignore, especially if you end up buying a poor quality product, it's likely to just end up in a landfill. Okay, so that is the video. That is the truth about Amazon. I hope you guys found this interesting. I just saw so many videos like this, but it was always from the point of view 
of someone trying to sell me something and I'm not really trying to sell you guys on it. Like, I don't care if you do Amazon FBA, but I figure people watching are just gonna do what they wanna do. I will say though, I've learned so much about this from Kevin and he has a YouTube channel if you guys wanna check it out. He goes more in depth because honestly, I'm kinda like scratching the surface. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you did. Comment down below what you think of this whole thing and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.